this video, I am making a SMS based home automation system. For this project, I am not using any GSM module. I am using an old keypad phone. So, uh, you have seen that when a phone call or a message comes in your phone, then it's vibrate. So, we will read that digital signals and process it through a microcontroller and according to it, I will operate a relay. So, in our project, I have connected the bulb. So, whenever I send messages, to my phone then my bulb will glow so let's start the video yes for this video i'm using a cell phone a relay module a sim card a cell phone battery a arduino uno a bulb holder and some jumper wires to the connection here is the phone i had soldered out the wire where the vibrator is connected so one is positive and another one is negative The positive leg of the wire which is coming from the vibrator compartment is connected to the digital pin 2 number pin and the ground is connected to the ground and the relay the positive is connected to the 5 volt of Arduino and the signal pin is connected to the uh, 3 number digital pin of Arduino and the ground is connected to the ground of Arduino. Hey guys, here's the programming part. So in the programming part, I had taken two variables as count and data and assigned both of them to zero. And here is a function as void setup. So in the void setup, I started the serial communication between my Arduino and my PC with the word 9600 and here pin mode to input. So the two number is where our uh, wire is coming from the vibrator compartment is connected and the three number pin where our relay is connected. So here is a void loop. So in the void loop, I designed data to the data which are written from the digital pin number two. So if the data which are written from the uh, two number pin is one or high then it will do this task that it will uh, assign count to count plus one. Initially count will store zero but now count plus one means now count will store one. So I am just displaying this data in my serial monitor and here switch case statement is used. So switch case. Uh, so if that count variable will store one then it will give five volt to the three number pin and there here is a break statement. <coughs> to break this case then here if k if the very if the data which are stored in this count variable is 2 then it will give 0 volts to the 3 number pin then here is the case 3 if the data which are stored in this count variable is 3 then it will give 0 volts to the digital pin number 3 and assign count to 0 then here is big break statement is used if nothing condition match then it will go to the default that it will give 5 uh, 0 volt to the 3 number pin and assign count to 0 and there is a delay is used delay 1000 milliseconds means 1 seconds so let's upload this program and see the output. 